apparently he uh, locked himself in the room for two days and since got on repeat. Lyrics, is it something that that only uh, only uh, uh, Ferris takes care about, or is that yeah, something that's, that's, that's his that's his ballpark? I guess our role is to uh, influence them with the music we're making, and push them in a certain direction. That doesn't always work. Okay. And uh, at least a quite nice juxtaposition sometimes. His looks have always been really good though, so we kind of leave them to. Okay, and and uh, the visual representation. I I I saw the the clip of. Uh, Previous uh, from the previous album, which was banned, if I'm correct. Or oh yeah, like yeah, that? it was just for stroke. It's just a British epilepsy regulation thing. Okay, but you, yeah, Chris Cunningham did the video clip. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was it the same thing that he he's, he listened to music and he said, "Wow, this is really what I wanted to do." How did it go? Yeah, the basically. What well, for the video? Yeah. Apparently, he uh, locked himself in a room for two days and listened to it on repeat, and then phoned us up and said. I, I want to start making videos again, <laughs> if I can make a video to your song. So we put the phone down, thought about it, phoned him back two week la weeks later and said yes. Okay, that's really good, good to hear. But uh, yeah, of course it was pretty provocative video in a way that maybe from the epilepsy part, but for the new video, Seven Minutes, the longest song I think on the album, was that also maybe a little provocative? Uh, it wasn't meant to be provocative or controversial or, you know, get anyone talking about it. Actually, it was just, we felt that was the song that perhaps summed up the album best. And it wasn't a single, because you could just put out a single and it's kind of like, well, okay, well, so what, you put out a single. But this was a song that otherwise no one would have got to hear unless they bought the album. And we kind of felt that people should hear it and it was, you know, a, a, a kind of a manifesto really of like where we are now. And I felt that one was really important for people to hear. But besides the music, would you say your music is also influenced by video images? Not really. We're not really big film people, actually. Which is a shame. I know people who are really passionate about film and, and you know, I just unfortunately don't share that same passion about film. It's pretty much just music and synthesizers. No, because I think the blend of the, the video style and the synthesizers, the Solina, the 80, so <laughs> It was very defined, I think, and was it your conscious decision or was it the director who played the biggest role in that maybe? Oh, in the video? Yeah. Um, well, I guess we came up with the concept for yeah. it, but, um, but all the images are... We worked with Douglas Hart, do you know him? He, he did um, like the My Bloody Valentine visuals, Prom Screen, he used to play in the Mary Chain. Um, he made all the actual slides, we worked with him on like, look, like finding images and stuff to make all the slides. Um, but no, he, he did an amazing job of like it syncs so well. You like it, it, I don't know when you listen to. I always feel when you listen to that song, you proper flow through it. And you don't realise you've been listening to it for eight minutes. And I think he did a great job of making the video appear the same way. You just float through it, and it's, it's a proper journey. But what you said, you criticised a little bit the, the music and the music industry as well as maybe the video art that comes with it nowadays. Uh, what do you say, maybe that? Uh, what is your, yeah? What, what do you maybe, what do you hope that you can achieve? What, when probably and people on MTV watch this video, is, is it something that maybe you want to open people's eyes a little bit more into what's happened before? Is that something? That's that always a really nice byproduct of it, when you have um, like a, a young kid come up to you and say, "That's you know, really love the music," and I've started listening to, to Can, and I've started listening to. Garage punk, and I started listening to nowhere. You know, being able to introduce people to music they wouldn't have heard otherwise is, you know, what I think one of the most rewarding things. But it's, it's not anything done with that intention. I mean, it's not like we're doing this from like a preacher's yeah, point yeah, of view. It's not, like, um, oh, if we put this <laughs> in, and then we'll get into this. It's just, it's just what we like. Yeah, hopefully, we can turn on, turn on some other people as well. <laughs>